I wanted to get a quick shot of this, so I thought this was amazing. Inside that bubbling goop of mess is a uh, like a griddle top that would use on a campfire um, if you were going camping or just over a you know a fire out in the backyard or whatever. Um, it's got a flat side on one for like doing like pancakes or bacon. Uh, the other side has um, you know like a like a grate on it. As if you're going to put uh, you know, char lines or grill marks on a steak or a burger or something like that. Uh, so in an attempt to try and clean this thing up, I watched a couple videos on. Um, doing the vinegar trick. Uh, so that's what happened with this after a couple of days. It's it's really soupy, as you can see. It's unbelievable. So I'm going to get this thing out and we'll take a look and see what's doing with this thing. Stand by. So I took the griddle out of the mix. Unfortunately, it ran out of time that day and couldn't get to it immediately. Uh, but I sat it down and kind of let it basically chill out a little bit so it obviously flash rusted uh, if you can see right here I started with the uh, with the drills and actually got it right down to the iron so I think this is gonna work pretty good this was pretty soiled this was pretty nasty um, but as I was hitting with the hose um, stuff was just you know just flying off of it you can see where some of this is still baked on there um, this was used pretty heavily um, on a camper trip not that long ago and uh, you know just lazy just didn't didn't get to it type of thing forgot about it and here I am gonna have to put the time in so we'll uh, we'll get going on grinding this down and see what it comes out looking like it's just simple wire brushes got a couple different sizes here um, and we get the flat one here. This one seems to be working the best because I can get into these grooves pretty good here. But um, we'll get going. And we'll see what it looks like. So we went ahead and cleaned it up. Little touch up spots here and there, nothing crazy. Now I'm wiping oil on there. And I'm using this first coat as pretty much like a to loosen up everything that was on there. And what's gonna happen is uh, I'm gonna give this thing a good bake and then I'll probably process it again um, to make sure it's clean obviously uh, but it, most of it should cook right off it shouldn't be you shouldn't have a real issue with this at least in the past they haven't had issues this is pretty heavily soiled I've done worse We got some weather coming in. 
that's the griddle. It's already starting to smoke. Grill just kind of just came on too. So I'll keep you posted on what's doing. So far so good. And this is the final end result of my remake. I think it came out great, looks brand new. Baked it on the grill. Well, I don't know. In total probably probably three or four times. I uh, just loaded it up with uh, vegetable oil and Crisco. Kept it at a decent temperature. I didn't let it rip. And it's got a really nice coating on it. It's not sticky. It's not flaking. Um, it's really very, very well seasoned. Going camping this weekend, so we're going to get into that. So I'm excited. So, that's the griddle. That's what I got.